Today we're going to turn this G-Skill Ripjaws KM780 RGB mechanical keyboard into something a little bit more to my liking. So basically this was a demo unit for M-Wave Australia, which is an online tech retailer and they're sponsoring me to mod two keyboards to put them into better use and to give away. So this one will be for them to give away and the next one I'm doing will be for everyone else worldwide. So I picked out this one since I thought of an interesting project to do. What I want to do is turn this fully featured edgy gamer keyboard into something more minimalistic and enthusiast looking. Majority of these fully featured gaming mechanical keyboards with macros, MIDI keys and other stuff tend to kind of look like this and involve more lines and angles in comparison to simpler keyboards. I think the nicest looking fully kitted out keyboard in my opinion is the Logitech G610. It's got quite a nice design for the most part with a very simple rectangular shape. So yeah, this keyboard is probably on the extreme end. It's got an extravagant case design with these bars around the sides and it has all these different lines and angles all over the place. It has a variety of materials with plastic and metal, MIDI keys and extra macro keys and to top it off we have RGB lighting which is actually fine although the typeface on the keycaps are really good and we'll have to use them since we have a non-standard bottom row and heaps of extra keys so no aftermarket keycaps for this one. But to figure out what to do I gotta take it apart first and as always that starts with the keycaps. I'll just chuck them into a bucket of soapy water for now. Another thing to note is that these use the RGB Cherry MX key switches, so this is my first time checking these out. And with this complex design, there's a ton of screws that have to be removed on top, on the sides and on the bottom, in which are all just Phillips head screws, so they're really easy to take out. Also, the metal bars are split into three pieces in case anyone thought that was just one piece going around. Okay, so here's the two main pieces. The plastic shell is just the plastic bottom and the wings. And again, it's very angular. It also has this hub with the USB ports and the audio jacks. So I'll have to use that for later. The top bit has everything else on it. These other bits can be taken away as well to see more of that aluminium mounting plate. And just like most of these types of keyboards, they use these rubber domes for the MIDI keys and all the other functions instead of actual mechanical key switches. So now with everything apart, I can start taking all these measurements and figure out what to do. But I pretty much have this basic idea of just keeping the aluminium plate and getting rid of the whole plastic shell and creating a more simpler case. Alright, so here's a quick sketch of what I want to do. It's super simple with an easy sandwich case design. Basically what this means is that I'll stack a few layers together to make up the case. This is one of the popular ways to do things with DIY cases, since you can use flat sheets and just cut the appropriate bits out. So it's heaps easy to use stuff like acrylic or even thin sheets of wood. My main concern however is the varying levels that the rubber dome keys are. I want the top surface to be flat, so I'm going to have to modify those a little bit. The first thing I have to do is to make this aluminium plate into a rectangle. This will also get rid of that curved front edge as well, so I'll just cut those bits off. This is just 2mm aluminium, so it's quite thin and it's also quite a soft non-ferrous metal, so it's not very difficult to shape and cut.
and now with all that done it's just a plain rectangle and I can easily build around this but that's enough for now in the next bit I'll cut out the pieces for the case and put it all together and hopefully it works out in the end again thanks to Mway for sponsoring this project I'll also be introducing my fully custom build very soon so yeah sorry about having another introduction coming up soon but I really got to get these projects started with so many things going on